<laughs> Little bit of dressage. Yeah, quite nice actually. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, no, the back her off. Look at her feet. Back her off. Tap. Alex can sit in his office and look at the old Bentley and his bikes. Yeah, this is wonderful. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's too early if you're there. Well, we've had three nights here now, doing a whole bunch of horses around the area. And goodbye to. Blackpool Football Club because this is where we stay guys I'm not really that into football uh, none of us are I used to play as a kid but uh, so yeah this is lovely to stay here but yeah we're not really into football but uh, funny enough there was a football match last night here and it was uh, Blackpool against Cheltenham and Tanya's from Cheltenham I've just asked and Cheltenham lost didn't they <laughs> ready to oh, ready to start the day <laughs> got about an hour and a half's journey well, what can I say? What a difference in a day. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. So is we've let... Smoke? Is it smoke? Turns out there. You see, look, it's dangerous. They have to pull over. Goodness gracious. Oh, I can't see. That's bad. Where has it gone? Two more horses left, Tanya, and then that's our mega trip. Yeah, we're off home. to Lake Windermere and then up He's to, to Cumbria. Up. Up. Oh. He's had to pull off. Off to work as He's well. Blown. He's blown, is Oh dear. I'm so looking forward to going it's home. It's nearly a week away, the horses. I know. Charlotte's done a grand job again looking after yes. each thing. Yes. Got your bobble on today, it's a bit chilly. Yeah. Crete, Crete last week, <laughs> this week. Oh. Uh, uh. Well, it won't be long till we're in Las Vegas. Cuties. Hey? So it's amazing we've turned up uh, to our destination and uh, we've got another Charlotte here. Here's Charlotte who's uh, camera got camera shy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I am too, believe it or not. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's an absolutely amazing place. I've just seen a lot of, load of old motorbikes which are amazing and uh, just look at that tan. Steam, it's train. steam train. Yep. Uh, it's, it's all happening here. There's even a little little pub <laughs> on site. So this is a workshop. And we'll, we'll have a, can we have a little look in it? Of course you yeah. can, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, and he's, he's refurbished the engine and now obviously he's got to, to, to build it. Will that have a 5,000 horsepower or something ridiculous? 32,000 horsepower. 32,000 horsepower. <laughs> Open for the bed. I just, I do see something. Thank you. There's a bike, Stephen. Bikes all over. I need a month here. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, okay, guys, we're just about to meet the young. A shire horse mare that we've come to try and help with but firstly i'd like to say i mean just pulling up at this place it could have been any normal place you know normal yard whatever and we pulls in and it this place like an oasis of of <clears throat> it's an experience just pulling up an oasis of shire horses donkeys ponies steam engine motorbikes eccentric cars you name it it's just <laughs> ridiculous it was a bit otherworldly really um and alex and Charlotte, Charlotte, we've come to help. They just take it in their stride as if it's nothing. And every turn, it was like, wow, what's that? Wow, look at this. 
So, yeah, guys, we won't forget this trip um, in a hurry. It's one of those ones you don't, you know, you, you'll always think back on. Um, so, anyway, the, about our visit well, the, uh, to help with the horse. Uh, Charlotte, she does play it down a bit, but she does have some real concerns um, and potential problems with this uh, 18-month-old Shire mare that she's got. Um, and the big issue, um, you know, contributing to everything is that Charlotte's got really bad knees and ankles. I think they've been operated on to some extent, but, you know, she cannot, they're very painful. She cannot, cannot risk being stepped on. Uh, and in all fairness, she's got several Shires. They're older, they're really respectful. And in some ways, the mare, you know, she, she, this, this young filly mare, she's, she's not understanding about space very well and can sort of, you know, um, get quite, you know, expressional with with her movements, and she's getting very close, and and potentially could really, you know, if three quarters of a ton of of young horse, you know, lands on on her knocks her knees or lands on her feet, then Charlotte could she could be crippled really. I mean, that's the stage we're at. So it quite rightly is really worrying Charlotte, and that's why she's asked her to go. And, you know, try and help with the space, give her some advice on how she can be a little bit more confident around her. And that's what, what we're there for, is to try and help with, you know, moving forward and hopefully stop any accidents potentially happening, which, you know, could really, really easily happen. Um, and, and this filly can be quite unpredictable. You know, one day, not too bad, then... But especially in one corner of the arena, she can really get expressive and jump all around. And in a new paddock or a new field, leading her down the road, sometimes she'll she'll just, <clears throat> you know, be be difficult. So that's why we're there. Um, I will very quickly say that obviously because of time reasons, I will um, shortcut some of what the average person would train. So I. So basically, there is no need to go as fast as I go. I'm hundreds of miles from home. I need to make a difference really, really quickly. I have the ability, the knowledge, um, and, you know, to be able to short track this. You don't need to go as quick as me. You don't need to firm up in certain situations as quick as I do because that's what I need, what I need to do to make quick changes so that when I leave, there's you know, there's been some change and, you know, things things hopefully are on the way forward. So, yeah, I do go quicker than you need to. When you've got the luxury of time, you take the time. Like my own horses at home, I really take my time. Unfortunately, when I'm this far away from home, I have to get on from one step to the other. So I hope you enjoy the video. There's lots of learning in this. an itch. Oh, hello. Mm -hmm. Cool. Hello. 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 He's ten years old. Archie. Mm. And this one? This is Guinness. This is the four year Guinness. That um he is like you say, if you rode a nineteen hand yesterday, how big is he? Similar, wasn't it? So he's heavier. Yeah. So oh. it would have these big horses. He was a mean Christmas present. He's baby. Yeah. So is this Betty? That's Betty. This is Betty. This is Betty. Betty. Oh, Betty. Betty. You're the size we can do something with. She's just 16 months. She's got a nice big stable out of there. That's a well, they are big horses, Bob. No, I know. I'm just saying. Look. Um, look at this, lot. Girly. Girly. And that, do you know roughly what size Betty will be when? About 18, I think. About 18. John assures me that she isn't going to grow to be quite as big as yeah. Guinness. <laughs> and your, 
Hopefully, <laughs> maybe a riding horse. I'd like yeah. to ride it because her yeah. mum went to Hoy's in the Ridenshire's class. Really? Oh. She was the mayor from Pembrokeshire. I don't know, do you know what the discipline of reining in America is? The reining where they spin and slide. Have you heard of that? No. that discipline? Well, it's a, it's, a, it's a cowboy thing. That it's based on stock work and they, they, they gallop down in a pattern and they slide and then they back up fast and then they spin, do lead change everything. They've got a class now, the Shires. And it's so comical because obviously the quarters they spin quick. And a lot of horses. These, they're, 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 they're wonderful to watch. And when they spin, then they go slowly. <laughs> and I've just found this little uh, clip of a Western Shire horse. Um, Shire or Clyde's tail. And you can see how slow the movement is compared with, you know, a normal quarter horse rainer. Uh, which I'll show you a little clip of that now, but can you see how slow the turn is there? And now watch the difference now. This is your average quarter horse, a plus spin as they call it, so it's a very fast spin. Um, yeah, look at that. A little bit different. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Woo! And uh, there, there's some Shoya racing. Um, but a dump, but a dump, but a dump up to the finish line. Look. And anyone for dressage. And there's uh, a Shire there. A little bit of dressage. Yeah, quite nice actually. It looks quite comfortable and light. That's nice. <laughs> it's great. Honestly, it just shows you you can train them really well for riding. Are you... And just coincidentally, the day before, we travelled um, to meet uh, this horse, which was a four-year-old Shire horse. And um, th th this horse was quite difficult. It had only just been broken. It was being very difficult. It had no forward, really. And it would, it would always refuse to go past a mirror. There was a, a tree that, the horse, that this horse would plant at. And if you pushed it forward to try and go past the mirror, uh, it would be very difficult and buck and all sorts. So it was really, really difficult. So I... I did some groundwork with this Shire, and this is only the day before this video, and did some groundwork, had some great breakthroughs, and then I rode the horse for about 30 minutes, and I'll just show you a couple of tiny clips how we got on getting past the mirrors. Ray. Ray. Off, yeah. I don't want to do much more than that. That's like asking for too much, really. Uh. Now, to be honest, at my age, I don't really ride too many difficult horses, but I, I had a good feeling that it would this horse wouldn't be too athletic for me. So yeah, I ro rode this young horse that hadn't that only just been broken, and I, I, I had a real good result with. Um, I think a lot of it was the groundwork I did, because remember, you know, we're only leading horse around on the ground and then we lead them from the back it's just the elevation it's the way i look at it um so yeah i had a real good session um got over the problem with the mirrors a lot more forward and as far as i'm aware i will get an update uh, but i did have one update and things were going so much better than they were and gave the owner lots and lots and lots of tips to work on uh, because you know this, this horse wasn't wasn't an easy horse at all and uh, yeah we had we, we had a few breakthroughs and look at that, it's a long way down there. <laughs> oh, God. Horses go out to the good visors in America, don't yeah. they? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah.
Um, Are you putting your holder on or what's happening? No, who's, is that yours? It's yours. Well, it's one I've got off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have yeah. you checked that that fits? That, that... That's why you're in. Oh, you don't know if that fits. Have you put it on? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've been using well, it. Put it on, put it on, and now we're going to watch you put it on and lead her to the school. Okay. If that's okay. Is that okay? Uh, with her arms, you can do that. Yes, okay. So that's good. You've just backed her up, looked at her feet. That's really good. Yeah, that's not bad. That's very good. So, so I'll do that. you've been... Uh, Checked in with her. Yeah. You, you, that's awesome. Yeah. Try yeah. not doing one, by the way. Yeah. When you did that, your head was above her pole. Yeah. Now, I've made that mistake. And I used to be told years ago, oh, don't sleep. Be careful letting yeah. people do that. People get wiped out with that. Now, that's a big head. Do you with what I'm saying? When she, yeah, you know yeah. where your head then was well, above her pole. And I've just played that. See where there, guys, in slow motion there, where Charlotte's head was directly over the top of the pole of Betty. It's just so dangerous. That's great, but if something happened and she lifted it, just be careful. Because you'll be down there, you'll be down having your teeth done. Yeah. So that's good. So disengaging. Brilliant. And yeah, awesome. Now you know you said the word well. Yeah. Remember what I said? Oh maybe you haven't heard me. Whenever you say that word, always back the horse up. Right. Whenever you use it in handle riding. But but if we say easy, then we can slow down and go forward or stop and go forward. But whoa has to mean stop. So I always stop and back them up with woe. I've learned that, that that if you're always consistent, whenever you use that word, you make sure you back them up. Or if you're riding them, you stop them, back them up or stop and turn more than 90 degrees. It has a massive effect, that word, because they really know they've got to stop and either turn or back them up. But you can say easy and then go stop. Right then, so. She's quite good with like, do you know what I mean? Let's go to the school then. Yeah. You've got a big mountain block. Look at this school, Tanya. Nice. Right. Now, obviously, with your with your knees, ankles, on, ankles. So yeah, it was the ankles, isn't it? And uh, so, look. Tell me if I'm asking you to do something that's yeah. not. What's it? But if you could just lead around for me, left yeah. and right. Just lead her around and stop her a few times, and let's just see. What a glorious day. Oh. And then stop. Not bad. Yeah. And then change rein, go the other way. Yeah, go to your left. And then, me on the other side. And then, no, just stop. And then back her up five paces, how you would normally. Remember to tut. Tut, not cluck. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So she's a little bit dead there, would you say? A little bit. Mm. So she's either this quiet yeah. or she could go and we'd have all the feet coming over my head. You can, you can lower her head. How about take her hindquarters over? Hindquarters. That's lunging around you, but that's good. Now hind quarters, now walk away, now stop. Uh, okay. She's great. <laughs> Yay! She's a little bit in your space. She's a little bit in your face. Yeah, well, a little bit like that. Yeah. And this morning when I brought her up on, from the field, she was a little bit because the other horses were gone and you literally had yeah. to hold her back. That's all I wanted to do six weeks ago. Now the cavalry is, she's doing she's, it. She's perfect. Uh, what I would say, what I'm, what I'm thinking of is how I can help with this. Because yeah. as she gets a bit bigger, if she kind of does a lot of that, and she is going, like you're stopping, and she's kind of yep. looking elsewhere and kind of on you. Yeah. If that gets worse, that might yeah. affect those. So really, 
Like with my horses, you've seen, I stop and they start. Yes. And I can talk to people and I can back them up, yeah. but I'm not having to beg them. Yeah. So maybe a little bit more yeah. in the moment for you. Really yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And like you say, she'll jump around, she'll jump around uh, when she feels like it and w won't take a lot of notice. So I might lead her a little bit, like you are. Okay. So obviously my ankles at the moment are not too bad. So I'm walking a bit quicker than you. Yeah, yes. But I'm going to say, can you stop? And like I mentioned earlier, this is the first time I asked for a little bit more with the backup. And I was one tap there. I'll play it again now. I stop. I'm straight to the point, a little tap with my boing and stick, bump, and then I release everything as those feet free off right there. Um, yeah, I needed to do that. Building something in so that when you lead her and stop, not bad. Thank you. Stay with me, stay with me. Stay with me, stay with me. She's always done that since she's a foal. She's always drifted. In yeah, well, I'm, I'm showing you. Look, I'm just annoying. Annoying her till yeah. there. Do you see where she got with me? Now she's going over there. So I would play. I could sit on a chair here yeah. and get this good. Take me a couple of days and now, and now we're here and there. See, see, I, I would love this. Now stay with me. No, stay with me. Thank you. Got it. You see the little bits? Yeah. yeah. If it's at all possible, I'd like you to give me some homework to say oh, yeah, yeah, I want yeah, you to yeah, work yeah. on this yeah. and this. I'll just get her halter broke a little bit better for you. Yeah. Um, stop. Now, that was a nice stop. Mm -hmm. It was. It that was, was a meaningful stop. Now she's with me. Tell her how good she is. Right. So your question about firming up, you've just seen it. Yes. That's, that's, that's it. Pretty much. Well, you saw how I got a little yeah. bit. I said, look, and I only released for for energy in her feet and the better she'll back off from you the better your life you're gonna have with these ankles it's all about your ankles really yeah it is you know because you don't want a, a horse like this standing on no. on your feet do you no. and you were, we're talking about charlotte's ankles because she's had two ankle two replacements, ankle replacements and, uh, so she's got to be a bit careful she's going to be heavy right i love that look love that mm. okay so let's just see her hindquarters Lovely disengagement. Walk out of it. Stop for me. Back up two paces. A bit more than that. One, two. Thank you. So I ask her first. I ask her first as nicely as I can. Stop. Back up two. Oh, another one. I wouldn't beg you. Come on. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> uh, She's female. Right, disengage this way. Lovely. Really good. I'd get into a habit, if you can, of leading her a little bit. I can, uh, your peripheral vision with a horse's feet, I can see her. Yeah. I know, I know where she is. Okay. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't lead her too much, too close. Because if you're too close to her, and she gets a little bit like you said she can get. You don't want to jump in on your feet, do you? One step back. So I'm quite happy with the stopping now. Nice. A little bit better. Showed you how to get a little bit of attention on you by keep you know, and take your time with it. The other thing is, you, you're kind of pushing her back here. Yeah. So it'd be nice if that's lighter. Yeah. So she doesn't push forward. So that's quite easy to achieve. Um, basically, I'm going to ask lightly. Tut, nothing's happening. So, you see how I tapped her? Yeah. Now. And I'll show you again here in slow motion because, it, you know, I don't want people just bumping on horses for nothing. Or uh, So here, I look at her feet. I ask with my uh, um, hand there, my left hand. She blocked it out. Two little taps there. And I'm still looking at the feet. And as, the, as her feet start freeing up, as she frees up, she's raining back there in diagonals. So she's freed her feet off. She's give to me, she's turned loose, and that's when I completely quit everything within myself. I just quit, uh, 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 no pressure, no sticks, no nothing. 
but I have to get to the point quickly to move on I'm, I'm, I'm while I'm, I've am i got such a short visit. If you haven't got to keep doing this, but I'm getting a lighter for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See how she's getting light all the time? Yeah, yeah. So you're going to have, you're going to have a youngster that she'll listen. Look how light she's getting on that. Mm -hmm. And that isn't hurting her. You can't hurt her. It's too big to hurt. You with me? Mm -hmm. All right, look. Look, see how she's getting lighter? No pushing. Look, tell her how good she is. I got, I got that principle from Blackpool the last time, What's which that? I have to say was an amazing event. What's that? About lightening up, because I used to have a long line with a big brass hook on it. Yeah. And I sat there and I thought, that brass hook's too heavy. I need mm. to lighten it up. So yeah. I got one of those off you. Yeah, yeah. And, and, but she's still like... So it's like, you can see what you need to do, but just run out of time. <laughs> this is where I'm putting the bits in and yeah. recognising the size without, without losing the horse. Mm. And lightening her up, mm. Looking keeping her attention, you know. Because you can't bully her because she'll just get bigger, won't she? You've got, you've got to get in on top of this stop, back up. Look, I'm in touch with her then. Look, she's starting to... We'll give her a little break for a minute. It's a lot for her to deal with to suddenly her uh, feet to be controlled so much, you know? Right, now then. Everything's been stopping back so far, hasn't it? Yeah. So now, move just to move that. Has she seen a flag? Yeah. Uh, last year, yeah. Was not that bothered in, by it? Or? Not in the school here. I mean, I have, I have pieces of alcaphene and stand and yeah. do that. Well, you're gonna have to move back a little bit just in case. So. So I'm not involved with her at the moment. I'm not even looking at her. Yeah. But I'm going to go from 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 neutral to active in a minute, and I want to just a forward step, okay? Yeah. So now, so I've got a forward step, and I'm gone. Okay. Yeah. I disappeared out of her life because she went forward. Yeah. Immediately. You've got to okay. be so quick, haven't you? Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Up one. Lovely. So now I can go from this. So it shouldn't really mean too much, but she's quite chilled anyway. But now look, I'm going to cluck. She's gone. She's gone. Now I'm going to disengage her hind quarters. Back her up. Off me. Oh my life, that's beautiful. Go. Have you lunged her much? Done anything like that? Uh, I've done a little bit, but I've been careful because obviously because of her joints. Yeah. But she should she should trot round. No, I don't really need a trot round. I'm just saying, have you? Yeah. And uh, she's 18 months old, isn't she? Yeah. 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 I've a. Uh, I, I did one day. I just I put some long reins on her and thought, oh, that'd be easy for me with my feet. Oh. So I put some long reins on her and she planted her feet one day. She uh, planted her feet. Yeah. This flag is really going to mean in a little while about yeah. forward with the feet so that if you have a long rein and then you have one of the so there look she was she lost me yeah and i've just said no stay with me it's going to help you big time because she's not going to she'll be less apt to do all this jumping around with you yeah, yeah. if she's she knows that you're controlling her you're controlling the feet in here look she's staying with me so much more now yeah. it's only now and again she's uh so um but you'd have this if you're long round, and if she's planted, she'll know that means forward. When you yeah. clock and use that, she'll be got, she'll go. Yeah. So I'm going to do some leading to driving now. So there's the leading. So I'm going to come in behind here. Drive her. Now I'm going to swap that. Did you see me doing this in Blackpool? Yeah. The leading to driving. So now I'm going to lead her. Saw it in Blackpool and then binged on the videos. <laughs> <laughs> so lead, leading, lead leading. Now my arm goes out and I take this space here and there and there. Like, oh. Good. And then swap to to leading. And then I'm going to come in here. My arm goes out. Driving. Good girl. She doesn't need to move that inside shoulder away from you because she's going forward. Yeah, oh, I'm looking for just, just leading yeah. and then me be able to drive her. 
it has a massive, I find it has a massive effect on these horses the way they are with you. Yeah. Uh, because that, we, she has to follow me and she has to be pushed by me, which is exactly what they do in their own environment. Yeah. A stallion or a mare will push, push a horse and they also have to follow. So there's driving and I'll just wiggle the flag a bit to get a life up if I want it. That's what I was looking for first, yeah. but that won't work for her. Just, is that what you mean when she picks up a little bit? Um, that was a little bit. She, just, mm -hmm. she pushes her shoulder in and plants and... I don't think she's going to do a lot of that when I'm finished. <laughs> I don't think so. Then the only other thing she did is when we took her to a couple of shows, in-hand shows, you, you walk with them and turn to trot them back. Yeah. And then she exploded then, but I can't run with her, so... Yeah, you, you, you're a bit handicapped really in a way, but... I can't, I, I can't show her if I, you know what I mean. No. But. Lovely. Do you see where that's heading towards? A, li a little bit more control of her feet without a pushing on me. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm going to do the other side. It's both eyes you've got to do, leading to driving. All right, good cheers. She's very compliant today. <laughs> well, I wish she wasn't. Uh, it's your work, gotta be. Maybe you did a little bit more in the stable than you usually do before you bring her out. No, less. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. But, listen, but you know what? It's weird that you say that. Like because yesterday she got this great big horse and she said, "I really can't pick a front feet." And see, so well, show me what. Show me. Picked every foot. Up. Uh, she well, oh, she's never God. done that before. No. It, it's just <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's I, just, I it's did a lot less in the stable because you said lead her up and have a horse. Yeah, I'm just going to disengage the quarters because so she knows. Because it, she, I would have, that, you know, it could have gone either way with her walking up that ramp. Some days she's like this, and then the, yeah, this morning we walked them up like halfway up the village because they were turned yeah. out, and she goes first. So I said, no, you're not going first today. And somebody was leading the other horses, and then something else happened, and I was literally got the shoulder into her, and I thought, oh, this has got to stop because. You know, you were literally. Mm. She'd, well, she'd you're gonna have to get more. First. I'm gonna do a bit more of that in a bit. That's gonna have a meaning to you. Have you got a boing and stick? Yes, I don't right. use it though. Well, you've got. <laughs> you've got a couple. But you've got to have to start <laughs> using it because <laughs> she's got to know that she doesn't encroach on on this. So she are gonna get hurt. Yeah, okay. Agreed. You only got to tap a. You yeah. saw what I've yeah. done. I've done yeah. the worst. Yeah. Just touch and yeah. tap a chest. Mm. Even the flag, look. Look. Okay, quick, this is, I'm just looking at her feet. But you've put... I did, I did. She just you, you, the flag. And you've then. put a lot of work into this already. And uh, and I'm noticing. Um, right, so. Hind quarters. Lovely. So I'm going to go... This side might be different, this eye. So leading. Now I'm active. So that won't do anything for her until she settles. Until she settles into a nice drive there. Oh, she moves nice. <laughs> so I'm leading her. Now my arm goes out. I'm gonna just, so that won't do anything. She's trying to put me in the other eye. So I'll wait till she feels good. She doesn't there. Think this, about being that corner as well. She well, has been. Well, this eye, no, it's, it's usually this eye because oh, right. we do so much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, on the other eye. Look, she's putting me in that eye. So I'm yeah. saying, so now, drive her, drive her. There, she, no, you got it. See, see, I don't, there'll be no release till she feels good to me. Right there. And then lead her. You see what eye she put me in again? Mm -hmm. She wants to be on the other side, so maybe if you can lead her um, this way. Mm. So when she feels good to me. But when she threatened you then, you walked towards her and I would like, oh shit, what am I going to do now? I can't back right. up. <laughs> I want to wait till she feels good, right, which is there. How did you spot that felt good then? Well, I just feel it, it, it just, the, the, the horse is more with you. It's a little spot that you see and everything just, uh, just feels right. 
So go this way. You see how this ice is not quite as good? Right, show you the spot. Not, not there, not there, not there. Not there, not there. There. Can you not see? Yes, I did see did that. Any yeah. You see that little tiny where uh, everything just seems better for a second. Well, I want to get it good this side. See, I, I'm, I'm not going to get emotional about this at all. She, the only break she's going to get. I've kept this going this side because I know that's here. Yeah. This, this side. So it's definitely noticeable here that Betty, when I'm in the right eye, is a little bit more defensive. And that sort of behaviour there is what's worked for her a few times because she knows that sort of behaviour frightens Charlotte because obviously Charlotte's worried about her feet and her knees. And that's what's worked for Betty before. So it's just me keeping calm and just keeping my cues going. All I want here is the feet forward to respect the flag, which the flag will need to be used now and again on Betty because she's learned to plant and wear long rain and things like that. So the flag will have a meaning for feet forward. Um, so I just keep I just keep keep up the um, the cue here, which is waving the flag till those feet go forward and she accepts what's better for her because that's all Betty and all horses, ponies do. They work out what's the easiest option and the safest option. And, um, you know, there I made my idea of her going forward. Her idea was her. I can't make her do that. She decided to go forward. And now all the pressure from me is gone. Um, yeah. Don't do anything for her. But that will. Give her a break because that was quite something for us to go through. Yep. Um, tell her how great she is. Lower her head. Right. Now that was a foot. Did you see that? What yep. just happened? Yep. Yep. So I looked to her feet and I just, and that last foot there, then tell her how good she is. Get her attention. See how easy I'm getting her attention now? Yep. It's just a little, tell her how good she is. There's no one requested forward motion of a big horse around me. They start moving in, they're going back. You've got to be on it pretty quick. Yeah, but sure again, yeah. get useful get useful with this or with that or that. You know. So here, if I just a little a little swizzle there. Um, and how, how often should you do? Should should I do this with her? Do it as often as you want. Like, again works. again I wouldn't Look, she's a fully learning big horse. Yeah. I wouldn't, you could do this every other day for a little bit. Work on her stops. Work, yeah. um, but I'm. it shouldn't be as much... I'm picking things up to get yeah. through this little yeah. thing. You shouldn't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah. doing it all. I'm doing this. Right, so have you flexed around? A little bit. A little bit. Shall I try it? Yeah. Right then. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Girly. Hold of that. Don't pull it away from me, though. Right, there you go. Up with your head. Wow. <laughs> She's only done that since Blackpool, since you went through and I wrote down. Because that, that, all of that, supplements in this net. This is a rain. Yeah. That's a rain, all right? That's all, all that yeah. is. So when you put your bit in and everything, yeah. when she realises she's just following no. the rain. I picked that up at Blackpool. She, well, <laughs> good. Yeah, it is a good thing to do. Get them, get them flexing. Oh, lovely job. <laughs> lovely a couple of those job. horses yesterday were so stiff. Yeah, this is wonderful. Yeah. 
at that. <laughs> really good. Now what we, you know, this, I don't usually talk about this in a visit, but when that, when this comes out, yeah. it should, if we're doing nothing, then they should flex and do nothing. Yeah. So that the rain, we should be able to take a rain, and if we're still in the, in the saddle, we should be able to flex. A lot of horses, that rain means move. So I'll go to a lot of horses, I'll go to take a rain, or I ask the owner, and the horse starts doing this. So that's why a lot of people get on a horse, they'll pick up the reins and they move. Or you're getting on a horse from the ground, and you, they get their rein and they start to move. So it has an effect. It means movement, really, the bit. So it's important to be able to do what I've just done that you're starting on, to be able to flex and these not move. Yeah. And then it's the same then when you get in with your bit, same thing, really good thing. But also when we cluck and we suggest a movement, that has got to mean move this shoulder because this, this is the steering. Yes, the back steer to a certain extent, but this is the power steering. That's the way my brain works with it. Yeah. So this, obviously and your seat and legs have an effect as well but this rain if we're active for movement this rain whether it be a bit or this should mean reach of that Does that make sense yeah. so whether i can get her to to connect look i'm bringing this right now i need her yeah. to step back Don't and look. right so she just reached out yeah. this is where it starts yeah. she's just reached out yeah. Because I've been doing so much backing, yeah, yeah. which everyone wonders, why, why is that? Yeah. And better she backs away from you. Yeah. As long as we can keep the forward, which I was just doing the forward, yeah. as long as we keep the forward, that, that, that back end means they get more on their back end. Now she would not, when you handed me the rope, she would not have done that no. for me. She would have been more on the front, okay? So, so here, this rain, I'm looking at it, look. Now I'm gonna put pressure here, and I'm gonna see whether I can get her to put her weight back and step out, she did, okay? She did, did you see that? Yeah, yeah. So what will start to happen if you practice this, it's not an easy thing to practice, okay? And I find it easier with the flag, if you give me the flag, uh, you just pass me the flag. You might find she gets a little bit lost with the flag, oh, but I find that I coincide this for the pressure to back her up. So this comes in first, that rain, right? All right, so did you see it? that go again? Now she's got to step back. And did you see it reach? Now I'm dropping this every time she reaches right. with it. This one here, this should mean there. Now she's getting rid of this and this for reaching with it. Make it, you kind of see in this? Mm. Or, all right, so here. Now she come forward there, that's not the answer. So, there, she reached out. I'm only showing you this because you're already done quite a bit with her and you might be able to make this work for you. And if you can, then when you bit her up, which in the spring I would put a bit in and start flexing her in the stable with the bit. And start. She's already had a, a, a rubber ring because we showed her in hand in it. Right, that that's was amazing. lovely. Did yeah. you see that reach? Yeah. And if you look back there, she puts her weight on her back end slightly and reaches, reaches with the right foot out and then I relax the rope. So mentally you start, if you do it enough, you start to get a mental connection between the rein and the shoulders reaching, the feet. So this, so what I'm trying to get to you is, is, is not come forward with this. Yeah. Come back on your hocks and reach. Yeah. And reach. Reach. Beautiful. So every time I'm doing that, these horses start to stop. Back up a little bit. Right, and that last foot. Yeah. Um, they start to realise that love, language, and leadership. The love is easy. We all can love on them, can't we? Language. But you were already looking at the feet when I came. So is that making sense? The feet. Yeah. A lot yep. of people have trouble with that and look at the horse. Yeah, yeah. But. Uh, it's the feet. Right, so let's see now if we can get her in this corner. Right, where would I have trouble? Um, 
Well, she would pour, if I put her on the long range or something, she would pour the ground, try to throw herself on the ground and... Here, here. Yeah, just that whole, just that whole 10 metre circle there. But I can't believe it's because we moved the calves out the field either. I mean, there's enough machinery around here that she shouldn't be scared of anything particularly. better than usual? 60-100%. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, if I go in front of her, it might be something that she sees here. She might scuttle forwards. Let's just try. I would rest her here. Yep. And love on her in this, this corner. Yep. And can she disengage? Can she go through the gap? Good girl. She's not much going to phase this girl. No. There, do you see how I got my shut the shoulders yeah, away? Yeah. A little shake which I'd built up out there. Good girl. Back up a couple. Oh, really good. She put a bit of energy into that for me. Good girl. Um, good girl. I, I think she's great. I really do. She's great. Um, that shoulder was a lovely reach. Okay. Just get a and then, me look, look. Don't, hold, don't carry she, it with you. She can't come I... into that space without you inviting her. Because these are important to you. Look. I'm not begging her there, am I? No. But if I talk to you for 15 minutes now, she'll go, mm, let's test it again. Yeah. And she'll kind of, yeah, and yeah. then I'll wave and then I'll yeah. keep tapping until, yes. you know. Because like she had it earlier on and literally like you say, you've not done it for a bit and then go to it. So tomorrow morning you come out. You might be like starting over, yeah. but, but, but not quite quicker, as. Won't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get to the you know, finish point. Um, also, you can practice forward, because you're going to be riding her. Yeah. That's your, your point of forward yeah. for a cue, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So what you could do, um, not frighten the six, what you could do, I have to be a little bit careful with these ones, because some people have whacked them with, with crops yeah. and that. You know, I have to be very careful. But we could we could go for a cue. So I'm going to look at her feet. I, I'm, I'm saying to her, don't don't come into me. She's thinking, what does he want now? So I'm going to tap where your feet, are, where your your forward cue, because you can have great grand cues before you ever ride her. Yeah, you did that at Blackpool. Yeah. I thought that's amazing. Yeah, to, to, to tap <laughs> tap there. Yeah. So I'm going to ask first. Uh, with my arm and now I'm gonna there to come on so that's she's quite she's quite sensitive really uh, I'm gonna ask it again forward with the feet there you've definitely not done this definitely 100% yeah, not done that okay. so all I'm looking for is a forward step from the cue here look it's your feet so so I'm gonna keep going it went forward oh, that's brilliant tell her how good she is do you remember oh. her name? Betty. Yeah. Um, so are you with what I'm doing here? I'm I making am. a forward cue where your legs will be. There, went forward. So I'll give you the side. You'll see this video and, and you'll be able to practice some of this stuff. Yeah. It's going to really mean something. Um, stop. Back up one. Drop it here. Oh, well, that was still a try. Right. Um, tell her how good she is. And then, all right, so this side. It's gonna, your legs are gonna hang about there, yeah, aren't yeah. they? Right? If she comes in, then I'm gonna shake it out of the rope. Right, okay. Because that rope now is meaning, oh, take the weight on the, oh, so, you know, that shake. Um, yesterday there was one they couldn't lunge very well at all, and that, I really got that good for the girl. Because when she asked the horse to go around, that wasn't a shire, that was dead for uh, a big grey horse. Whenever she asked it to lunge, but the horse had lost confidence in it because trailering, it had gone over backwards with a pressure halter and crashed over backwards. Mm. Fortunately, it didn't break the withers, it bruised them, but, and it lost a little bit of faith in it then, and, and it wouldn't lunge for very well, so it would come in. Mm. And that's hard to get. So th this way then, look. Touch, 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 keep touching. And then she thought forward, didn't yeah. she?
Did you see the thought? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Right, again. Uh, and then I'm going to quit. Yeah. Right? So if I put this little bit in, so there's no reason why, one, you can't bit her pretty soon. She's going to be officially suing. She's had a. Yeah. Something in it. Yeah, they, look, look, I put a bit in, in our Jimmy. They can put a bit in, they can get a quiet mouth, you can, you, you can show them what's what. A great time to put it in. She's had a collar on her and, um... So, is she okay with that? No yeah, bumpiness? absolutely. Right, bumpy. right, so, yes? She's had a saddle on her just because it was, I'm Listen, out brilliant. stuff to put on her, really. <laughs> and but then with, I go, shit, I shouldn't with be your doing saddle, this. With your saddle, you <laughs> want to be able to tap your, your saddle, Tap your saddle here, your, yeah. your stirrups, yeah. to have a nice barbecue. Right, okay. I have yeah. done that. Now you can see the sort of respect I'm getting now. I only lift my hand there and her whole head and everything says, okay, yeah. So that's a little bit of pressure there and she's really listening. Absolutely great thing to do. Yeah. But you start off with this. So will she go forward? Um, she's backing up. Now she's going forward. Yeah. So I quit, look. I quit. Tell her how good she is. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you can use your... You can go from this to, and the thing is as well, by using the bowling sticks, you're you're showing her with all of these releases that this has a bearing to her feet. So when you ever have to use it to back her off, yeah. she knows she's got to do something with her feet. Mm -hmm. So the, you could, you're not wasting this, but eventually you want your stirrup, stirrup to meet it. Your stirrup. Okay, that's something you can practice. And this is. This is all, what I'm doing today is all new to her and she's took it really well. Yeah. Some horses, they say, what's this, you know, and there's a bit of a battle goes on till we have the breakthrough. And she hasn't been difficult at all. Hasn't been difficult at all. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> she's following me, bro. Because <laughs> yeah, I've been doing all of this. Um, lovely. Lovely. Quite a nice short back, isn't she? And that I think yeah. she'll be a nice riding horse. So I start off like yeah, I'm that's good. That that's that's good. Okay, so yeah. I'll just so let her know that that's a good place. Brilliant. Done. Lovely. So you get her lined up to where. Yeah. <laughs> the thing, but she is going to grow into a big horse yeah. mm. because of my stuff. I have put a lot of time into her because I'm so terrified that I can't manage it. And I don't know what you call it, but once you get through that thing, you've got their trust and you had her in that five minutes and then that'll be it. And I get it, the next day she comes out, that that's how shires work. They, they bring, unless, uh, unless they are... Unless they've got problems, but genuinely they just they want to work for you. So you show them something, and, and they do they do um, they do learn. But I, I do want her to be, you know, so so I could do it myself. Is there anywhere we could take her for a walk where you think she might? Yeah, yeah. Cut off. Down the road right. Here. I'll have my. Uh, God, what, which way? Which way do we go? Left, please. Yeah. Well, that one? So now we're on our way to an area where there's a couple of paddocks and things where, you know, she's come away from the other horses. She is only young, remember, and uh, we're expecting a little bit of, you know, um, flamboyant behaviour, as you could say. But remember, that kind of behaviour is what we're trying to uh, install into Betty, that she doesn't encroach on Charlotte's, you know, space. Because if Betty does step on, it's all about looking after uh, Charlotte's legs, really. But So I'm expecting maybe a little bit of exuberance down here and you just see what you think. I mean, remember, I've done quite a bit of groundwork, so let's hope that things are better. Take her up there. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Have focus. Have focus. Now, I can't make a rear and all of this stuff, so I would have liked her to have maybe done something that I could say, right, now we do this. Get her busy, get, get, get her mind on you. Um, good! 
She she's never... reacting straight away instead of. Yeah, but sometimes she'll come and just say, but be, no, it's, you know, just smile about it. Uh, so People can get. We mess up, don't we, sometimes? Hey, listen, but, listen yeah, yeah. But, you know, it was proved to me a long time ago when I was being taught this stuff. It very rarely is the horse. And if we're mm -hmm. humble enough to say, yeah, it is. And I go some places and they're convinced I'm not going to be able to do anything. And because of the knowledge I've got, I managed to do it. And they just sit there going, oh, it's us, isn't it? It's us. Yeah. yeah. It's very uh, rare. It is it very is. rarely the horse. It's got a lighter touch. Right. Yeah. Um, there, you got her attention quick then, because you just, there you go. Lovely. Look. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's it then. And the other stuff, when you see a little video, the other stuff you can work on. You see what I do. Just, just, just like, look at that. And that's with people walking up behind her. Yeah. Mm. Does that feel better than it was? Yes. Yeah. It, that's instant. Yeah. Rather than yeah. 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 Perfect. Why? All oh, right, okay. Lovely. Oh, now the back her off. Look at her feet. Back her off. Tap her. Now quit, quit. So even in that new field, you've just managed to get through a little problem and back her off. How's it be reaching? And I the bet you if you walk here now, she'll probably stop. Nice. Your own practicing, you can get this much better. But we're all watching you. It's nerve wracking. That's good. Yeah. Oh, that was lovely. Because she even had forward motion then, didn't she? And yeah, she still stopped for you. Good. Did that feel better? And that was pretty much, you know, the end of the session. We've been there quite a long time. And uh, definitely Charlotte has got more, more of an understanding now as about the tool she needs to use to, to, you know, achieve that space that with Betty that's so important for her knees and everything. So basically, yeah, we finished kind of there. Um, so we were all quite pleased, really. And then me and Tanya had a little uh, walk around, <laughs> another little walk around uh, their amazing place, and you'll see a couple of clips of that now. It's okay. You okay? Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Where are you? Look at the car, look at that car. I could spend a month here looking. Look at these. Oh, look at these old bikes. Charlotte's husband's into old bikes. Let's look at it. Look at your whole car. That. Wow. Have a look inside. Oh, Andy. Alex can sit in his office and look at the old Bentley in his bikes. Wow. Oh, great. Amazing. Flex all old. There's everything here, isn't it? It's fantastic. Wow, look at that. Can you imagine years ago, the Lord There's not leg. much leg room, look, Tanya, look. Is there? Oh, yeah. Huh? So that's a four-seater then. What make is the car? Um, yeah, there's more room in the back. Look at the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's nice in the back. What make is it? Um, oh. Wow. Look where they put the spare so, wheel. She's with the vet. Fantastic. He said he rode that one a lot. Yeah, he rides it a lot. It's left all the patina as it. It's unrestored, but mechanically it's good. But there's classes, show classes you can go in. The, the, vintage. You know, vintage as it is, not unrestored classes. Wow. Don't get any ideas. You've got, no, not got I any. Would, like an you've not bike. got any time. I would like an old bike. Right then. Wow, what a visit that was, guys. Really enjoyed that visit, to be honest. Um, it's one of those, like I say, one of those you don't you don't forget in a hurry because we walk around there. I mean, we don't show everything on the videos because they'd be hours long. I think we were there about three hours or so. Um, but yeah, we, we had a good tour around it. Oh, I was in my element. I was in my element. Uh, how is Charlotte getting on? I will find out how she's getting on. I hopefully... Um, I mean, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I think I think Charlotte played it down a little bit. That Betty can be very, very, very difficult. And only six months ago, um, it was Charlotte's dream, really, to be able to just lead Betty around with a little bit of quality. So, you know, Charlotte to this point has done incredibly well, worked really hard with Betty. 
to get this, you know, understanding a little bit. But I think I've helped just that little bit over that hill to, to make a uh, better progress. And it's all about making Betty safer around Charlotte, really, because, you know, one, one step on or proper knock from a horse that's very soon will be, you know, um, three quarters of a ton. I mean, that's the kind of weight that these are all on a foot that big. So, yeah, so that, that was that. Uh, what a great visit. And please don't rush. Like, I have to, when I'm that, I say it all the time, when I'm that far from home and I've got all these visits, I have to make inroads really quickly. And if you don't, haven't got my sort of experience, you can try and rush like that and it can go 10 times worse. So don't rush. If you're learning from um, some of the videos, don't try and do it as quick as me. Slow it all down. Take your time. Yes, be assertive in certain places, certain times. Uh, be black and white, no shades of grey. The horses don't like grey. Okay, so black and white, no shades of grey. And uh, but but just just slow it down when you've got the luxury of time, which I don't have on these visits. I could say, if you if you people who come come to my place, people who come on the ranch days, people you know. People who bring horses here, they notice, and a lot of people say, oh, you, you usually do things quicker than that. When you've got the luxury of time, you slow it right down. Um, okay, well, I think that's the end of the video. I've kept it to a reasonable uh, length there. I think there's lots of learning. So, okay, I think it's time to say happy trails. Did and... you mention the demos? Oh, no. I can't do everything, Tanya. In fact, yeah, there is some stuff Tanya wants to say. Can you come and sit here and... Uh, Come on. Oh, I've got to go to Tesco. <laughs> I don't care. Come on. Right, Tanya's going to tell you a few, uh, oh. few things here. Are you not going to sit with me? Oh, really? You're putting me on the yeah, spot? Yeah, I am putting you on the spot because oh, I don't know all of these oh. dates and things. Oh, dear. Sorry, guys. I was just about to go to Tesco. Okay. <clears throat> so, what we're talking about. Right, the demos. You, Steve forgot the demos. We've got a demo on Saturday the 16th of March in Billericay. That's going really well. We do have some seats still, well, I say seats, spaces, because you bring your own chair. Um, yes, we've still got room for that. Uh, the ranch day, we haven't advertised. The reason we don't advertise the ranch day is because a lot of people from last year come. We do mention it a couple of times on videos and that's filling up really well. So the ranch day is on June the 22nd. A lot of people are asking you, aren't they? What yeah, that? what happens on the ranch day is you come here uh, for about 9.30, something like that. Have a cup of tea, biscuits. Uh, we start at 10. Steve will then demonstrate his own horses. Um you know all you know what the principles of uh, horsemanship and how he you know does things with his own horses and then we have lunch i cut lunch um last year we had quite a few but that was fun yeah um and, and then, then again in the afternoon steve has horses here with trouble two with with issues that i haven't seen hopefully yeah and they're really good and then questions and answers yeah questions and answers and then we end up you know with a with you little, know a little, little maybe on the patio or you know <laughs> and the, the lunch uh food uh snacks is all um included in that and there's a local uh some people stay with a caravan or uh bring a tent or camper uh, and a lot of people stay at the premier which is just like 10 minutes away um right a lot of people messaging me about north carolina yes we are going to do a demo in north carolina linda with the lovely cooper and sammy is organizing that um she is getting the ball rolling for that we th it, it is going to be in may sometime but we haven't finalized a date yet people will want to know uh, yeah, yeah i know and i have said to Alinda, uh, people you know do want a date for that um we but she's had a few bits going on uh so she's gonna really crack on and try and you know finalize the date and that's for north carolina um I that's about it, isn't yeah it? i think oh, that's one more thing Oh, what was it? We're taking you for your birthday in two days' time. Oh, yes, my birthday on the 17th of January. And he's taking me to Spain. It's just only for a few days, it, isn't it? It's only for a couple of days. And Steve's promised me that we're not getting to any horses. Apart you haven't got a film, I've promised. Tanya, ain't got to film anything. I might film a couple of little things just for... Yeah, you know. but not horses. We're not going to any horses. We're not going to see the donkeys. Is... 
All right. Well, you did. You 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 wanted a bit of a. Oh yeah, but you know, donkeys. I like donkeys in me house. Uh, go for a nice couple of meals. It's only for five days. We're going just to look like a little chill out. Charlotte's going to take over again as she normally does. Um, so that's it. I will try and film a little couple of things if I see some nice donkeys or or something or other. Uh, so that's it, guys. He's left me with this now, hasn't he? So if you can. <laughs> Uh, comment we love to read your comments uh, like and share it keeps the channel going and uh, we have a great subscription uh, channel which is amazing Charlotte does things on that all the time she does her shenanigans or obviously when Steve had the babies all the trainers are like over 200 videos on that isn't there yeah well over that right yeah. then is that so, it then so we're gonna say happy trails because you're gonna make the video too long I'm sorry happy trails guys I'm off to Tesco happy trails everybody <laughs>